Hey, what's up guys? Grady here, doing a quick commentary. This time I am addressing the fact that Halo Reach does not have a true skill system in place. It does not have a level system. Now, I know this is common knowledge. I know a lot of you guys understand this and have accepted this over the last couple of years since Reach has initially come out. I am just hoping that when Halo 4 comes out, 343 Industries rethinks their strategy and hopefully maybe implements some type of system that can segregate people in terms of skill level. I mean, you got, you got to think, there's a lot of people that are brand new to the game, maybe they play casually, and they probably want to put a lot of time into the game, but unfortunately, like let's say Halo Reach for instance, you run into a lot of situations where you've got no way of gauging who you're going to go up against. You could go up against a really, really terrible player, or you could go up against like try-hard warriors that you know may potentially have high-class GB or high-class land capabilities, and it's just not fun for the the people that are just starting out or the people that are trying to get better when they come in and they get completely demolished. And you gotta you gotta pray that you know maybe maybe they have the balls to just go ahead and stick it out and maybe try try to make the best of it. But a lot of times I think this ends up just driving people away from the community so I'm hoping 343 Industries reconsiders all that and maybe put something in place to better improve the experience of the players <laughs> so I know I died earlier I was actually chasing the sniper ironically enough the opponents no scoped Kevin and I ended up chasing that sniper once it came out of the guy's hands all the way to the ground and I got hit with a random nade so both of us were easy cleanup so the guy ended up getting like a crazy double for no dang good reason and that clip that you saw just now basically I thought they would start shooting and I was gonna run away and instead they hesitated I threw a pre nade and I just cleaned them up it was just really nice and easy and Kevin basically gave up because neither one of us was gonna get a perfection and so he just grabbed the turret and he tried to have some fun with it and as you can see it's just totally devastating the other team now we played 25 straight doubles matches and we only played against three teams that were really worth playing against we only lost to one team and that was by one kill and that's because we mistimed the power weapons and they got rockets before we had a chance to really react and it was just really bad luck guys but just think we're, we're decent players we're not pro caliber players. We're decent players, but yeah, we're able to go in there and dominate doubles because it's social. There's no pre-rank. There's no level distribution or segregation. And I know that after the games were completed, a lot of the people that we played ended up getting off reach immediately and they started playing Minecraft or they started playing something else that maybe got their mind out of the gutter, maybe took them off edge, helped them relax. And I think Halo shouldn't do that to people. I mean, you shouldn't be raging when you're playing, you know? You should be enjoying yourself. And all I can say, guys, is save the noobs, okay? Save the noobs. They are what makes the communities. All these people that trash talk, give people crap, just chill out. These people are what make the community. These people are what you feed on. This is what makes the game grow. Food for thought. Talk to you guys later. Bye.